LOL themed basket. Let's get into it. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. As I promised, I am going to make the LOL themed basket. I'll make the Minnie Mouse basket in another video and then the duplicate uh, traditional Easter basket, probably with the Minnie Mouse basket or an X on video as well. So let's just get get started. So for the LOL basket, this is an Easter themed basket that a mom ordered. So as I stated several times, I like using the regular plastic buckets for the kids baskets because they can reuse them, put all of their, their toys and snacks or candy or whatever in these buckets. All right, so I also have the traditional Easter bunny. This is actually a Rice Krispie Treats bunny. And then I have some chocolates with like a cute Easter egg at the top. I have some Easter themed Sour Patch Kids. Can you see? And what else? And then I have some carrots. These are so cute. These are like chocolate carrots. Let me show you guys. These are like chocolate carrots. The regular Easter eggs, chocolate eggs. And then I have this like pencil holder. It says girl boss on it. I think the girl is like seven, eight or nine, somewhere in there. She's not too young, but she's not too old yet to receive an Easter basket. So I also have some crayons because I have a coloring book. Went to Walmart and found this LOL surprise ball. This was like $6.98. I have some bubbles. And I have an, an LOL, it just says a magnet, a magnetic activity. I think you can, the, the, the clothes are magnets and you can change the outfits on it. Okay, and then I have, I was so happy when I found this because at first I wasn't finding anything LOL that can fit in a bucket. Like all of the LOL stuff that I was seeing was like big stuff. So I found this and I'll actually start with the coloring book after I stuff the, well, I already actually have it stuffed. And one of my subscribers told me because I, I complained that, you know, I usually stuff my baskets with newspaper, but it's 2023, right? So can't really just find stacks and stacks of newspapers laying around anymore. So she was like, just use the, the paper roll. And I was like, okay, I got to go to Hobby Lobby or Walmart or whatever, but I already had some in the basement. Go figure. So I have the regular tissue paper and I usually get the Dollar Tree tissue paper. They have so much in one pack. Let me show you guys. My paper confetti fell and this basket's about to fall too. See, they have all the colors. So that usually lasts me a while. So I'm, what I'm going to do with the LOL basket and also the Minnie Mouse basket is that I'm going to put the letters on the buckets and really personalize them with the girls' names. So I have these like pink letters and I'll show you guys how I put the name on there at the end of the video. I dropped my paper, con my, um, my paper confetti. So I would have to, I'm not stopping the video. You guys are just gonna have to wait. It fell down there. Okay, so I already have the basket stuffing. And of course, I don't want the ugly newspaper or the, or the um, ugly paper roll paper to show. So I always use at least two tissue paper sheets because they are pretty thin and you can see right through one of them. So I double them up with the same color. And just put it on top of the newspaper or on the paper or whatever you whatever you're stuffing your basket with looks like that okay I need to get my I need to get my paper confetti that fell let me show you guys see it's kind of like a pastel eastery easterish color I know easterish isn't a word is my word now though and this color it kind of blends in with the lol theme so I just thought that this would be and also I usually put at least one pack of paper confetti in each basket so that when all of the basket stuffers are in the basket, it can help it kind of sit up. So this will be a pretty combination of colors. I also 
Well, I don't spend a lot of time, um, but I do spend time to make sure that my baskets are color coordinated and themed properly. I don't know, I just, I don't throw things together. Like I don't throw baskets together. I like my baskets to be well, well, well put together because I mean, if I'm gonna call myself a gift shop, or say that Blissful Bundles gift shop is your favorite luxury gift shop. It has to meet up to the expectations. So I just pour the paper confetti on the top of the um, tissue paper and spread it. Usually, sometimes I pull the paper confetti apart and make it kind of thick, but this is fine. Also, I like some of the paper confetti to fall over, but not too much because as I stated, I do not like my baskets looking stuffy. However, I like the paper confetti to look a little like rugged a little bit. So I have my glue gun ready. I always start with the biggest item in the back of the bucket. And honestly, I may not need to glue gun this um, coloring book. Usually if necessary, I'll put a little dab of glue right along, you know, whatever item is in the back and glue it to the bucket so that it can stay in place. And I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Is this thing hot? Okay. So I'll just do like that. And not too much glue, just a little bit so it can stick because I mean, I don't want the kids like trying to pull their stuff apart. <laughs> okay. You don't want them struggling trying to pull the stuff apart. Yes. Yeah, so, and then let's see, the Easter Bunny. Since this is kind of big and tall, make some space, move some of the paper confetti out of the way. I like all of my basket stuffers to be um, on display. I don't, I don't like anything hidden. I like everything upward and on display with the largest items towards the back. And then we get smaller as we come to the front so that everything is visible. If you guys are still watching up until this point, go ahead and like and subscribe for more videos. So this is actually, I'm going to do th this basket. I have the mini and the other Easter basket. So I think I have one more Easter bat, one more Easter video for 2023. And then I'm on to focusing on Mother's Day. Yeah, Mother's Day. Yeah, that's, that's okay, yeah. Yeah, Mother's Day is after Easter, okay. I know it wasn't Father's Day. I know Mother's Day is always first, but sometimes I'm like, is, is there anything between Easter and Mother's Day? Okay. All right, so that's pretty sturdy. I put a, a little glue on the edge of this um, Easter bunny box. And it's like a little, it's like stuck to the, the uh, coloring book. All right, so then I have this LOL item. I'll move some of the confetti paper out of the way. And then I'll do the same as I did. Put a little glue on the edge. Glue that to the coloring book and just hold it. I like my glue gun. Some people say I should use the, um, the little glue thingies. I don't like those things. Okay, hold on. I think I need some more glue. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like the little glue sticker thingies. I like the glue gun. I don't know. I just, it's more secure. All right, so this is also tall, and I would put this right here on the side. And when you try to stuff things down on the side, you gotta literally move the tissue paper and the paper out of the way. Because if you force it, it's just going to throw off your whole basket. So you have to do it manually. And last but not least, for the LOL theme, I have the LOL ball. This does not require any glue or anything. I just opened up the paper confetti and made it like a little nest so that the ball can kind of stay, stay down. I have my coloring my crayons, 
and I'll make space right here. And I'll put a little in, a little dot of blue right here. Right there on the corner so that can stay. And then I'll start stuffing it with the, the Easter candy. All right, so let's see. You gotta get the color. Well, these colors pretty much match. Got the pink and the like turquoise blue, kind of like the, Okay, you also gotta be careful with these little candies. Gotta make sure the paper confetti is like fluffed up because these candies will sink. So if your basket foundation isn't sitting up high enough, these little candies will sink all the way down to the bottom of the basket. And I don't want that. Let's get some more pink. And these are just the regular chocolate eggs. And plus you want your candy sitting up so they can see. It helps the basket pop. See these chocolates are sinking down. Don't. All right, I already stuffed the regular traditional Easter eggs. I'll put these on the side here. All right, so if I put these little carrots in here, it's gonna throw off my color pattern. But here's my bubbles. I can actually put the bubbles in the back. That'll be cute. Yeah, just sit it right there. And I have my girl boss. And I think I'm going to see. I was gonna put it this way, but it's gonna block too much. It's just gonna block. So since it's kind of thin, I'll stuff it on the side and make it stand up vertically. Bam, 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 there you go. Well, does that look right? Let me see. I think it looks better in the back. But then, okay, there we go. All right, I think it looks better in the back, back here than on the side. Okay, also have, <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> the weather's changing, my, allergy, my allergies are terrible. So I also have this big old, this isn't gonna, well, it, it'll fit, hold on. Watch me work my magic. Watch me work my magic. <clears throat> oh gosh, the springtime is coming and my allergies are always on 10. And I can, it doesn't matter what I do, okay? I can drink all the, I can, I can drink all the tea. I can eat honey all year round. I already drink plenty of water like all day, every day. Nothing helps my allergies, nothing. I take my vitamins, black seed oil, nothing, nothing, nothing helps prepare my body for, for uh, allergy season. Everyone's like, oh, just eat the local honey all year. Then by the time, um, Spring comes, your allergies won't flare up. Doesn't work. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh my God, that is so pretty. Because you can still see the LOL in the back. Okay, well, bam, here you go, guys. I'm done. I just have to find a way to, to make this stand up. Oh, okay, I can do it this way. And then I'll use the tag here. I'll glue, put some glue on the tag here. And then stick it on the back of this coloring book so it can stand up and not fall out the basket. So I also, I just texted the mom and asked her the two girls names and which thing goes to which girl. So I can put the name right here on the bucket. All right guys, that's that. I have one more Easter video to go. I may do the Minnie Mouse and the other traditional basket in the same video or I may not, but more than likely, I only have one more Easter 2003 video to go. And then we're moving on to Mother's Day. However, blissfulbundles.com.
let's move on to giftshop.com. I don't know why I always forget to say gift shop. Instagram and on Facebook and on the website. So, if you guys are still watching, I definitely deserve a subscribe and a like and a comment. I'm just saying. Bye. The same color as the confetti. The paper confetti. See, you barely can see the blue candies. Oh, my God. See, and the chocolates are sinking. It's cool. Let's put them up there. This is kind of empty right here, so I'll just put a few lollipops right there. Put a few lollipops right there. Then I may put another one right here to even it out. But here is the LOL Easter basket. Like, straighten that out. I'm a Virgo. Everything has to be perfect. All right. Like and subscribe, guys. BlissfulBundlesGiftShop.com.